Who are some of your influences growing up playing baseball? Uh, I'd say definitely my dad. My dad's been my biggest influence. Um, you know, he's the one who put the ball in my hand the very first time. He's been there, you know, from the, from the first step to, uh, to, you know, to where I am today. You know, he, he's my best pitching coach. He's seen me forever. Um, I'd say definitely he's been my biggest influence. With the, being a relief pitcher, what have been some of the keys to your success so far? Because you've been nominated for a lot of awards. What have been some of the keys for your success so Definitely far? Definitely throwing strikes. Throwing strikes is the most important thing. Since, I, since I've gotten to Pro Bowl and been in the relief spot, uh, I've realized that throwing strikes is the most important thing. You know, so I've attacked hitters, let them, let them make the mistakes, put the ball in play, let my defense work. That's, uh, that's worked out pretty well for me. I hear you're a University of San Diego product. Can you talk a little bit about your time there? Well, it's uh, it's San Diego, so it was pretty it was pretty nice the whole four years I was there. I really enjoyed myself. Um, you know, I got blessed with having the perfect college opportunity. I absolutely loved USD and everything about it. Um, and I, you know, if I could go back, that's that's the second I would go back to. Is, is the second I stepped foot on campus my freshman year. Were you always a relief pitcher when you were growing up, or did you ever have um, opportunities well, to start? I was or? a starter all the way up until I got to college. Um, then I was a I was a reliever for the first two and a half seasons of college, and then uh, and then I went back to starting. Um, you know, but for me, it's I just enjoy pitching. It doesn't matter with first inning, the ninth inning, fifth inning, you know, the seventeenth inning. With being a relief pitcher, is there any added uh, either pressure or stress because you know you have those stressful at bats, or do you like find you just I mean, yeah, you know, obviously, you know, when you come into the game late, it's tied. Um, maybe we have a two-run lead and a in for the save. Uh, you know, you try and block out the sort of pressure situation um, and just try and attack the hitter and make the best pitch possible. You know, I try and block out that sort of distraction um, and use it and use it against maybe the hitter instead of against me. You've been with the, quite a few in the men's organization so far. Talk about what have been some of you, the biggest lessons you've been able to learn within being within the men's final league organization. You know, I mean, we've had really good instruction all the way through. I've had, I've had great managers, great pitching coaches. Um, and a lot of the pitching coaches have installed that that idea of throwing strikes. Like I said earlier, is you know that's the most important thing. That's what we talk about every single day in our meetings. Um, you, to throw strikes and be aggressive in the strike zone. Um, everyone here has has really good stuff. They need to go out there and throw strikes for their stuff and and let it play. And, and it's worked really well for the organization, as you can see. Uh, and it's working in New York. Have you uh, are you working on anything uh, since you made it to the professional organization? Have you worked on a maybe added pitch, or are you just focusing on what you bring? Oh, I'm all, I'm working on something every single day. Um, I'm obviously not good enough to be in the major leagues, so obviously I have a few things that I need to work on. Um, I don't have a very good changeup. I'm always trying to work on that, um, and then perfecting perfecting uh, the other three pitches that I have. That's the most important thing. Obviously, they're good. I want them to be great, good enough to make it to the major leagues. Well, I understand you actually spent some time in Brooklyn. Just talk about a little bit about your time there. Uh, I loved Brooklyn. It was uh, it was quite an experience. That being the very first team I played for, um, the fans at MCU Park are, are a little bit rowdy. It was, we had a great time while we were there. It's different going from uh, going from the atmosphere in college to to MCU Park uh, every single day, having eight thousand people. You know, but it was it was a great. We had a great experience there, and I uh, and I enjoyed my time a lot. Were you able to like adjust to the, because you know for a lot of people that's a major adjustment moving to a place like Brooklyn. Uh, were you able to adjust to that type of lifestyle? Well, being okay, from or? Las Vegas, you know, I was born in a big city. Um, obviously, Las Vegas isn't New York sized, uh, but for a lot of people, uh, my teammates are coming from towns that aren't that big. It might have been a bigger adjustment for them. You know, I'm from the city. I know what it's like to be in the middle of the city, so uh, it wasn't that big of an adjustment for me. Although, although going to the East Coast is a little bit different from the West Coast, just you know, but but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being in the middle of the city. It was fun. Talk about your time here in Binghamton. How are you liking it? Uh, what have you, you know? How have the fans been treating you? Just talk a little bit more about your time in Binghamton. It's been great. I, you know, I really enjoy the, all the staff that we've had here. Uh, the people that work for the Binghamton Mets, whether it be the grounds crew, the front office staff. Uh, you know, they've treated us pretty well, and uh, it's been a great season so far in Binghamton. We're looking forward to uh, the last month of the season, finishing strong, and, and seeing if we can not make another run at a, at a championship. Does it mean a lot to you being an athlete? You know, you're playing with some in a very competitive leagues for most of your life now since you joined the professional league. So does that mean a lot to you that, you know, you're in competitive leagues, you're in competitive teams? Does that, yeah, you think that'll help you for when you do make it? To since the, I was a kid, my, my parents uh, and my coaches have tried to put me in the most competitive spots possible for the best competition. Um, and, it's, and it's worked in my favor. You know, I played a lot of travel ball that was that was comp competitive, high school, college, you know, and now we're now I'm in pro ball when it's the most competitive, uh, 
and and they've put us in a lot of good spots where winning has been important late in August, late in September, um, similar to the way it is in the major leagues. You know, from every single game on, that that winning's the most important thing. And lastly, uh, we always like to have the athletes give a message to the fans watching this. So, what's uh, your message to the fans at home? I just want to say thank you, Mitch. You guys have been great since I got drafted in 2012. Uh, you're very supportive, and, and it's great to see City Field rocking uh, with the Mets in first place. I'm excited. So, let's go, Mets.